Welcome back to the Abadji video series. Did you miss us? Today we'll be showing you how Abadji uses digital modeling technologies, a digital twin, to bring welding processes from the virtual world into reality. We'll walk you through the process, starting with an empty cell and finishing with a flawless weld, first in simulation and then in real life. Let's start with the cell inspection. Demetrius. Hello. Good to see you. Good to see you again. All right, what do we have here? We have a cell, wonderful cell with a panel, a robot with uh, two scanners, mm -hmm. with a two axis positioner, and with a cleaning station. Um, that's, and you have a track on which right. the robot is installed. Okay, you said scanner. We have previous videos about laser scanners. Vidrius, can you show us how it looks in the digital world? Okay, you can see a robot here and the, the other stuff we have in the cell. We may also observe the huge uh, box which uh, represents the area which the scanner sees. Mm -hmm. uh, you may move the robot so you can see how far it can reach mm -hmm. with the torch. And you also have the positioner here, you, which you may also rotate. Aha, lovely. Uh, later today, we will see how all, all of this moves um, in parallel, in, in 3D world, in digital twin, when the robot uh, moves Good. in real life. Okay. Uh, we are ready for testing the cell with a part. We have the most complex part you may imagine. And uh, you may call it the boot. Now I will install that and uh, we'll make a scan from it. Okay, it is ready for scanning. We can start it now. Now you see the part is located in the 3D twin of the cell and um, it is in uh, some place. Not exactly in the place we have placed it in. And um, I will run the scanning process now so we may identify and the software may know and the robot may know where exactly the part is. Okay, everything is ready for real scanning and you may launch it. Great, one click. Yes. Uh, now, before the real welding, we may take a look at the virtual one, so we may be sure that everything is fine and expected. You can see the digital twin here, and uh, our software already planned robot movements. I will start with playing. You may also increase the speed. You may see how the part is rotated on the positioner for the initial placement identification. And now you saw the scanning process and also welding. It was really fast, I like that. So now we may run it for real. Great. Hello. So, system is ready to go. And am I right in thinking we have a robot and our twin? and we could have multiple twins somewhere else also. Yeah, we may have a twin which is observed by multiple people, uh -huh. even like on the other side of the globe. So 
as soon as we have the instant connection with the robot, we may get its poses, its mm -hmm. real position in, in real time, yeah. and show you in this 3D scene, in this twin. Great. So it's ready to go? Yes. Shall I press the button? Please do. Okay. Pressing the button now. It still has to think first before movement, you see? Yes. Like a human. Like a human, yeah, it's good. Not, not all humans think before, oh, before action, that's right? That's to contemplate, it's good, yeah. Look before you leap. Okay, it's in position. Yes, and it's moving here, corresponding right, right. action. Uh-huh. But it's an absolute twin here. And the positioner is down there, 90 degrees. And it's gyrating now. What's all this about? It is called weaving. Weaving. Yeah, all it's right. creating circles around the well. Uh -huh. So the metal will be distributed more evenly. Right. Earlier today, you said about a PB well. It's an orientation right. of the welding. So this orientation is when one uh, plate is vertical and the second one uh -huh. is horizontal. Uh -huh. Very good. Oh, yeah. I can see the weld in progress here. And I don't need to be, yes. you know, right behind the thing. Um, this is especially help helpful when you are in the commissioning stage, when you still have to prove that the digital twin and the real robot are re really aligned. Good. That's great. Amazing. I'm just, uh, to be totally accurate, that's, that was for demonstration purposes. Uh, the actual welding, the actual high energy yeah. Uh, work, yeah. Work, right. It will be yeah, able because... to, to, to stream mm -hmm. its position during the real welding as well. Sure. This is the prep. Okay. We need our goggles for that. Great. Okay. Awesome. So it seems that the seam was seamlessly transitioned from the virtual world to the real world and it made for a very successful product at the end. So using this technology improves product quality and uh, it's a good job here at the factory.